Hello, and welcome back to Lily's Viking Adventures. Today, I have a special treat for you. Please like, sub, share, do all those things. It really helps the channel grow, helps it get seen by more people. And I like that. I'm going to talk about a North African warrior queen from the 7th century. Her name was Kahina. She was a Berber, Emma Zigjin, warrior queen, and seer who led her people against the Arab invasion of North Africa in the 7th century CE. She was also known as Al Kahina, Dehina, Al Kahina, Dahlia, Deya, and Dehia Al Kahina. Although she was finally defeated, her resistance later served as a model for other freedom fighters. Her birth name was Dehia or Dehaya, uh, or some variant thereof. The beautiful gazelle in Tamazic language of the Emazigen. While Kahina is the Arabic title, meaning prophetess or seer or witch, she is said to have had supernatural powers, which enabled her to foretell the future. Although she is a champion of the native North African Imzajen people, she is best known by the title given her by her Arab enemies, Al Kahina. She was the daughter or niece of the Berber king Axel, who died in 688 CE, also known as Cusalia, uh, Cassilius, Cusilia, who was a famous freedom fighter of the Mzajin people, also known as Amazig, the free people, the indigenous name of the Berbers. Little is known of her life outside of her conflict with the Muslim, Muslim Arab leader Hassan ibn al numan who died in 710 CE, whose Umayyad armies campaigned across North Africa. Kahina defeated Hassan more than once and drove him from the region. Legend then claims that she engaged in a scorched earth policy to deprive the invading Muslims of any profitable goods, and that this course led to a loss of support from her people. It may be, however, that the Arab armies themselves used the scorched earth tactic and later Arab writers attributed it, the destruction of the land to Kahina. In her last engagement with Hassan, a significant number of her former allies fought against her, commanding a greatly diminished force against overwhelming numbers. Kahina was defeated. She either died in battle, took poison to avoid capture, or was taken and later executed. Dates given for her death vary between 698, 702, and 705 CE. Although the historical evidence suggests that the date of 698 is too early and her final battle was either 702 or 705 CE. This was written by Joshua J. Mark. Thank you for joining me again. I hope you enjoyed that um, North African warrior queen story. Have a good day.